You're watching a Start to Finish podcasting quick tip. Brought to you by the Start to Finish podcasting TV network with Andre Lewis. Hey, welcome to the Start to Finish podcasting TV network. I am Andre Lewis, and today I'm going to show you how to do intros into your podcast recording. Um, this particular video um, was requested by didn't get the gentleman's first name. I think his, his, it was M, the initial M. This is for M um, Heberling, I believe. I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. M Heberling, or it could be Heberling, but I do apologize sincerely if I don't get it right. I'm going to say M Heberling. Um, so I just wanted to do this video for you um, just to show you how an intro and outro goes. And anyone else who doesn't um, know how to do an intro and outro is very simple. Um, it's not that bad. Uh, it's easy to learn. If you're using Logic Pro 10, which this gentleman is, he said he's using Logic Pro 10, then all you have to do is follow along with me and you'll be doing your intro in, in, in no time. It, it takes about not even five minutes. I mean, just getting the music together, that's going to take most of your time. But for the most part, um, the technical part of it, bringing it in and out, not a problem at all. So right now I'm going to go to um, my screen and I'm going to, show you how to do that video. So let's go to the screen and let's see now. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up two tracks. I've already done that. One is going to be for your vocals and the other is gonna be for your intro music. Um, I've already done that. So the next thing you're going to do is record your vocals, which is what I usually do. I record my vocals and then I put the music in the background second. Um, so let's do that right now. Hello and welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting Podcast with Andre Lewis. And today we are going to talk about so many different things. It feels great to be here. It feels great to serve you. I am enjoying this. I thank you so much for tuning in and I am glad that you are here. So now let's get started, let's get going, and let's talk about how we are going to create an intro with Logic Pro 10. All right, so we've done that, all right? So let's take a listen. Oh. All right, let me go back. All right, so anything, anytime you mess up, just hit the undo and it'll be fine. All right, so let's take a listen. Hello, and welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting Podcast with Andre Lewis. And today we are going to talk about so many different things. It feels great to be here. It feels great to serve you. I am enjoying this. I thank you so much for tuning in, and I am glad that you are here. So now let's get started. Let's get going, and let's talk about how we are going to create an intro with Logic Pro 10. All right, so there you have it. You have the recording. So once you have your recording, your, um, your vocals, that's when you're going to start putting in your intro music. So um, you can either pull the intro music from your hard drive if you have it, from your, uh, have it on your hard drive. I myself have music on my hard drive um, that I can use. Um, if you don't, and you're doing this for the first time, you can use Logic Pro 10's sample music. Um, they have sample beats that you can use, and that's what we're gonna use today. So right here, you're just gonna go here, click it, and these are all different types of beats, okay? So I'm gonna just pull this one, just for uh, example purposes, all right? Put it right here, and I'm gonna move my vocals down and we're going to take a listen. Let's take a listen to this now. All right, so that sounds fine for an intro, um, but it only lasted about three seconds. So what some people would do is just grab this again, stack it, grab it again, stack it, and you don't have to do that. Um, so I'm going to erase this. Let me uh, get rid of this here and get rid of this. All right, so 
instead of doing all that, grabbing it and stacking it and keep going until you get down here, what I like to do, uh, let me get out of that. I'll just put the cursor here, grab it and just drag it down. Okay. That's all you got to do. Just drag it down. All right. So now this beat will play continuously until it gets to the end here, right here. All right. So now we have our intro music and we have our vocal. So what we're going to do is see how it sounds. So I'm going to move this vocal about down here. Some people like to get right to it and have the vocal and the um, intro music come out at the same time. Me, I like to kind of have the vocal music play. I mean, not the vocal music, the intro music to play first, and then my vocals come in. So let's try it now with this. See how it sounds. Hello and welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting Podcast with Andre Lewis. All right, so it's pretty much online. It sounds it it, it uh, in terms of its positioning of when the vocals come in, it's fine. Um, but what I've I was hearing is that your the intro music seems a little bit too loud, so you may have to turn that down. And this is how you do that. What you're going to do is now. Every recording software has some uh, a tool like this where you can fade the music and turn it down for intros. Um, we're doing this on Logic Pro 10, so I'm going to show you on Logic Pro 10, but all the recording um, software uh, has this. So you don't have to worry about saying, well, I don't have a tool that does that. Uh, Adobe Audition has it, uh, Reaper, Pro Tools, um, all of them have it. GarageBand has it. And GarageBand is the same thing as this one. So if you have GarageBand and you're in luck, this is how you turn down or fade the music in an intro. So what you're going to do is go right here. And this is the automation. And you're going to click it. And once you click it, okay, once you click it, it's going to get a little bit bigger and you'll see these yellow lines. These yellow lines here, we don't have to mess with the vocals because the vocal is fine. We're just going to work on the yellow line here, which is the uh, audio level. So right here, it sounded, it, it, let me just go back here. Uh, okay. So it sounded kind of um, loud. I think the, the intro music was overriding the vocal. So what I'm going to do is just turn it down a little bit. And you can turn it down by putting your, mouse right on here and just drag it down just a little bit. I like to, I know exactly where mine should be. So I'm just going to drag it down to about right there. And now we're going to see if that music is overbearing um, my vocals or not. So let's take a listen now and see if the music is too loud or if it's just right. Hello and welcome to the start to finish podcasting podcast with Andre Lewis. And today we are going to talk about so many different things. It feels great to be here. It feels great to serve you. All right, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more. I mean, some people, it's really up to you. Um, it's your own preference. I prefer to have mine a little bit lower, but it's definitely up to you how you want it, if you want it higher or lower. Um, so let me listen to it now again. Let's listen to it again. Hello and welcome to the start to finish podcasting podcast with Andre Lewis. Okay. So I think that is good um, in terms of the levels. I think that's, that's pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to figure out a point where we're going to fade out the music. So um, let's see, I'm going to, let me mute this and then I'm going to play it. Hello and welcome to the start to finish podcasting podcast with Andre Lewis. And today we are going to talk about so many different things. It feels great to be here. It feels great to serve you. I am enjoying this. I thank you so much for tuning in and I am glad that you are here. So now let's get started. Let's get going. And okay. So right here, I think I want to end it right here. So at this point right here, this is where I'm going to end the music. All right, so what I'll do is click here. And what I'm going to do is bring this down. Okay, so at this point here is where the music will be as uh, 
a decibel level where you won't hear. It's going to be all the way down completely. Okay. And I like to pull that out a little bit. You can pull this out and, you know, play with that anywhere you want. It's totally up to you. Um, so let's take a listen now and see how it sounds. And if you want to keep this level, let's just say you want to keep this level, um, a little higher and, and you don't want it to start fading up to about right here. Then you can double click and just bring that up. So now you have the audio on the same level here and it's going to start dipping down right here and then it's going to end here. So let's listen now. Oh, got to unmute it. All right, let's, let's listen now. Hello and welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting Podcast with Andre Lewis. And today we are going to talk about so many different things. It feels great to be here. It feels great to serve you. I am enjoying this. I thank you so much for tuning in and I am glad that you are here. So now let's get started. Let's get going and let's talk about how we are going to. Okay, so it faded out just fine. If you're not happy with that and you want it to fade a little bit sooner than that, you would just pull this down. Okay. And it'll start fading here. Uh, what the way I had it is fine. So what I'm going to do is just undo that and um, I'll leave it here. So now that we have it and it, and it sounds great where the, you know, the intro is fine. Um, all we're going to do now is this extra audio is just going to give you, uh, it's going to be more data. So you want to just cut, kind of cut this off completely. So what you're going to do to cut that off is you're going to go to, there's two ways you can do it. You can, um, and I'll just show you this way because it's easier. All right. You can go to edit and then split. I don't think it's going to let you do it if you're in this particular, um, if your automation is on. So you would have to turn it off. Just make sure you mark where you want to, uh, turn the audio, uh, make sure you mark where you want to cut off the extra intro music, which is about right here, but you can be a daredevil and cut it here. It don't matter. I'll cut it there. So I'm going to turn this off and now I'm going to cut it. So you're going to highlight that track, edit, split at playhead, split regions at playhead, which is right here. Okay, and all you're going to do is delete. You're going to delete this, what you are cutting. And it's going to ask you, do you want to move the track animation? The track animation, you don't want to move. The track animation, uh, automation rather, is the yellow lines that we were just moving around. So you, you always click don't move. And it's going to ask you, do you want to erase the uh, automation data? You always click don't erase. Okay, so now we're going to, Delete this. It's going to ask you the same thing. Don't erase. And we're going to delete this. Ask you the same thing. Don't erase. All right. So you still have your intro. Okay. Let's move this out just a little bit. Because I think I went to cut too far in. So we can move this out just a little bit right there. And you're good to go. All right. So now that we have this. Everything's ready. The intro is fine. Everything is in line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to export it to an, uh, an MP3. All right. So what we're going to do is highlight all of this and you can do that by just going like this, or you can click shift and F4. I'll just put one on you highlight this shift and F4, and then it will highlight everything. Um, before you do that, um, what you're looking at here, um, it's no more than what? 16 seconds, uh, 17, 18 seconds. But according to here, the, right here, this open space is telling, it's saying that this is part of the recording. So if you export this, it's going to, it's not going to stop here. It's going to stop all the way at 35 seconds. So what you want to do is grab this, wait till this comes up right here. This is in logic row 10. I'm going to move it down a little bit. All right. And now it's going to stop here. It's going to uh, stop exporting here instead of keep going all the way down here. 35 seconds. So, okay. So now we're going to click this, highlight all of it, shift and F4. And then you're going to go to file bounce. 
project or section and click it. These particular settings, this is what I have set. I don't really mess with this. Um, I, a lot of people normalize it right here. I don't do that. Um, so that stuff right there just doesn't um, pertain to me. I just leave it the way it is. And then I'll click OK. And now it's going to ask me to name it. And we're going to name it Andre's intro. All right. And then we're going to click bounce. So that quick, it already bounced. Can you believe that? It, it, it processed that quick. So now we're going to go to um, the desktop because that's where I have it bounced to. And we're going to go look at it. All right. So here it is. This is the file that um, that we just processed. Let's take a look. Uh, take a listen. Hello and welcome to the Start to Finish Podcasting Podcast with Andre Lewis. And today we are going to talk about so many different things. It feels great to be here. It feels great to serve you. I am enjoying this. I thank you so much for tuning in and I am glad that you are here. So now let's get started. Let's get going and let's talk about how we are going to create an intro with Logic Pro 10. All right, so that's in a nutshell is how you do your intro, okay? All right, so I just showed you how to uh, do an intro in Logic Pro 10. I hope that that was an easy thing for you. Um, if you try to do it in Logic Pro 10, uh, let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know if there's something that I missed or something that I should have told you. Uh, but I think what I told you and what I showed you is just a basic way to add an intro. Um, you can do that in GarageBand too. So if you're a GarageBand user, GarageBand and Logic Pro 10 are both from Apple. So um, the the tools are the, are similar, the same way you use them the same way. So you shouldn't have a problem if you're using it in GarageBand uh, also. Um, for the other people who are using different recording software, um, the functions are pretty much the same in all of the software. It's just different buttons you're hitting to, to cut, paste, and things of that nature and to fade. So I hope this video was good for you. Thank you so much. Um, I hope this helps. This is Andre Lewis and I'm out of here. If you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Start to finish podcasting at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out the website. Start to finish podcasting.com. At this time, the website is under construction. I am in a process of getting the whole thing redone. Um, so I'm waiting um, for um, my technical person to help me out with that. Um, I actually designed the website, but um, I'm having some technical difficulties with um, the service. So that's not on my end. Um, but check out the website when you get a chance. Check out the videos. Don't forget the podcast. Um, I still have the podcast. You can uh, find that on iTunes, Stitcher, um, Spotify. Uh, it's, it's all over the place, SoundCloud. So check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network.